In today's video, I'm going to share one trick I use often when adjusting and retouching photos. I call it the step zero curve. Step zero because it's the very first adjustment you need to do before doing any other adjustments. Its purpose is to set a good base for the real adjustments and neutralize the extremes. Let's use this image as an example. If you look closely at it, you notice it contains a lot of bright areas, close to white, but also some areas which are almost black. With the step zero curve, we're going to neutralize these extremes. This will flatten the image a bit, but will also make it more natural. So let's add the step zero curve. The idea is to make the blacks a tiny bit brighter and do the opposite for the whites. I will also add a midpoint to make the curve more smooth. Awesome! Let's look at the before and the after. We immediately see the small difference. The image is softer and much more natural looking. Now we can continue with some regular adjustments. For example, I will use a quick skin smooth effect which I explained in my 1 minute skin smooth video. If you are interested, link is in the description. As it only takes 1 minute, let me quickly show you how to apply this skin smoothening. We make a duplicate of the image and let's not forget to move it above the step zero curve of course. Next, we apply a high pass with a nice big amount and put this layer to vivid light blend mode. This will sharpen the image as you see, but we want to smoothen it, which is exactly the opposite. Usually to get the opposite of an image, we invert it. So let's see what happens if we invert the image. Awesome, instead of sharpening, it is now smoothening. I don't want this effect to be applied to the whole image. So I will add an inverted mask to the duplicate by keeping the Option or Alt key pressed and then clicking on the Add Mask button. With a white soft brush, we can now paint back the effect on the skin area. If the effect is still too strong for your liking, we can lower the high pass value, but we can also add a Gaussian blur. By increasing the blur, the effect will be dimmed down. Awesome! To finish up, I'm going to add a vibrance adjustment in order to give it a little bit punch to the colors. Let's max out the vibrance in this case. I think the image can take it. Pretty cool. Now, just for fun, let me disable the step zero curve so we can see its effect. I personally think with the adjustment turned on, it looks much more natural. But again, it depends on what you're aiming at. Another use of the step zero adjustment is that it creates more space for the following adjustments without them hitting the extremes very quickly. Let's have a quick look at this example with the cute Volkswagen. The image is a little bit on the bright side and I want to make it more contrasty so the minivan comes more alive. Let me enable the step zero curve first. You see, the effect is actually very minimal. Now, let's turn on the other adjustments. Pretty cool. Now let's see what happens when we turn off the step zero curve. Also not bad, but as you probably noticed, we lost some details in the sky. When we applied the step zero curve, we lowered down the bright areas and now the adjustment on top have a broader working space before the whites and the blacks get clipped. Here is another example. Let's enable the adjustments. Pretty awesome. If I disable the step zero adjustment, the image still looks terrific, but with the step zero adjustment enabled, it just looks more appealing as the flowers stand out a little bit more from the background. Here is another beautiful example. Let's turn on the adjustments and turn off the step zero adjustment. Quite a difference. Just like with the Volkswagen minivan example, 
the brights gets lost without the step zero adjustment. To be honest, it is not truly a fair comparison, as the adjustments on top are based on having the step zero adjustment below them. But if you would do similar adjustments without the step zero adjustment, the result will still not be so nice. Here is the final example. I will turn on the adjustments and then turn off the step zero adjustment. I think the step zero adjustment makes the image more natural, especially if we zoom into the face. But again, it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. You can also adjust the step zero adjustment to fine tune the image at the end. For example, if you want to put more emphasis on the highlights. To conclude, applying a step zero adjustment, we create more space for the adjustments on top. And secondly, it makes the image more natural because in nature, usually there are not very deep blacks or super bright whites. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a follow-up video on the adjustments I used in the examples. Thank you very much for watching and until the next video.